بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم. So this is coming to a close to a fourth part series inshallah which in which we'll be covering and finishing up our sixth module today. So we're starting with the last component of the fifth module in which I wanted to walk you all through the new Muslim mentoring manual. This is a manual that you can utilize as you have completed your training and then you are actually training and mentoring new Muslims. So you could, it could be a handy resource for you as a mentor, as a coach, and as well as it's also used as we uh, are onboarding a new coach or new mentor to help them go through a training and come to a point where they can actually uh, be evaluated once they've completed the training. So let me bring up the manual on the screen here. Okay, so this is the manual that we use. And obviously you can make a copy of it and you can customize uh, this, docu this document however you want if you are running a different team and a different masjid, different organization and so on and so forth. So you can also utilize that as well. Um, give me one moment here. Okay. So uh, this is a link this, to this video that kind of describes uh, what, what this document has. And this is a shortcut link, the bit.ly link to get to this document. So obviously we, uh, and then we have a table of contents here where you can utilize to jump in uh, to different sections of the document um, as you are utilizing it, especially once you have gone through the initial training. So we talked about what our mission is, what's going to be our culture. We want to protect our du'as, our mentors for us. So make sure you're not burning out. Make sure your deen is uh, not being impacted. Uh, we also expect commitment and accountability and uh, integrity and respect for all members uh, of the team. So these are some of the links that's related to one of the teams. Again, you may be part of a different team, different masjid, different organization, and you can have your own links uh, that you can use for your mentors uh, as well. And this is a form that uh, we use with one of the teams to to refer new Muslims to. And again, you know, there may be various teams in the city that you are in uh, or the country and what's not. And then you could have other links that may be used by uh, a new Muslim mentoring team to get people recommended to them or get people referred to them. So that's very important, right? As we mentioned earlier in the modules, that you would introduce yourself to different imams, different community members who can pass on new Muslims to you. So you need to be, have a system where people can actually either just send you the contact or put in the information in the form so that you can actually work with that, inshallah. So um, so again, the way we, we have done this is, uh, I don't think we need this anymore. I'm going to remove this is basically it's it's a self-based thing. You know, we want people to come in, go through the training, show us that they're committed, they are self-motivated, right? Because we would not have the time to handle people. And if you're not self-motivated, then you can easily fall off the radar, right? It's not something that we do as a group. It's something that you have to do individually as a mentor. It's not like street DAO where people get together and they go out together, which is a group activity. This is mostly done individually. Uh, we do have, you know, let's say a monthly meeting where coaches and mentors can come online and share their uh experiences, ask their questions, and so on and so forth. So right now, we, for example, have two monthly calls that we do uh, in, the, in the evening time. So coaches can come on any of those calls and ask their questions, share their experiences, share what's working for them, what's a blocker, what are some of the obstacles, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you become a coach and you're interested in joining any of those, you can also reach out and uh, I can let you know which calls that you can, inshallah, join. So the way that this training is done is basically, again, uh, in two parts. One is a basic foundational training and one is extra training, optional training, which can help you become a better coach, a better da'i, but it's it's optional. So before you can actually be onboarded with our team, you have to go through the foundational course uh, training and then reach out and say, hey, you know what, I've completed the foundational training. And then what we will do is we'll you know uh, give you a test, open book test, just to make sure that you have understood the content, uh, perhaps if needed, get on a call with you, and then you you can uh, join the team. So obviously, um, we definitely encourage and expect that all the mentors, the coaches are at, uh, taking care of their religion as well. And we expect them to be at least committed to half an hour or 45 minutes of class or lecture or halakha, what have you, uh, to keep up with their own development. 
Okay, so uh, again, uh, the accountability is weekly. So when you are going through the training, we expect the person going through the training to send us a WhatsApp message or email, or whatever it works. Just put your name and you know, keep us posted with how much training you have completed every week. Or if you need to take a break, you say, hey, this week I'm away. And then also what you're doing for your Islamic education. Once you have become a mentor, then you can just do another uh, follow-up uh, form, which is basic uh, or, or WhatsApp message or whatever the form you guys would like to use for your team. And then say, you know what, this is what's happening with my mentor, you know, uh, progressing not progressing, responding, not responding, what they have learned, so on and so forth, and also what you're doing about your Islamic training. So in terms of the man mandatory content, so this is the Dava training that's mandatory, especially if you're joining the IRA team. And then you have other options training if you want that's also linked from here that gives you further uh, training. But even if you just do the basic, that's good enough. That's that's the basic. If you want to be more advanced, learn more different techniques, because it's an art, right? Dawa is an art. So if you want more techniques, more ideas, then you can also utilize the optional training. The video playlist, right? It's divided into six modules, small parts, sh uh, short, short videos. And then the link to the slides is also here. Um, so I'm just going to remove this. Actually, I think this is not... Important. Okay, this shows you an example of a weekly follow up module and so on and so forth. Now, in section three here, well, what I've tried to cover and we keep adding more information here, some of the common questions that come up, right? So there's some guidance here basically about common questions about uh, uh, telling parents and so on and so forth. What are some of the uh, things to keep in mind uh, for some people who may need housing and whatnot? You know, especially in Toronto, we have put in some organization names that kind of look after that. Another common thing that I've encountered is many people would hear from their uh, friends or family members about alcohol, and they would think that, okay, if I drink, then I can, I should not be praying for 40 days, right? So that's not what it means that, you know, that your prayers obligation is waived off once you have, you know, consumed alcohol. So that's a common myth. So that's been explained in these videos. You can utilize that to keep an eye. Sometimes people don't pray and that's, that's, you know, that's how their mind is working that I don't want to pray because I have, you know, consumed alcohol, some other uh, substance. Uh, for Toronto, for example, this is for the basic community, different job groups, networking groups, so we can share them, share with them. I'm sure other cities may have uh, similar groups as well. These are some of the contemporary resources, especially from a North American perspective on different fatawas, especially related to the Muslim. You have this link that kind of points to that. Um, okay, so sometimes they may bring up the topic of marriage. Um, some people do do it too fast, too hasty and whatnot. So some guidance about this is uh, also uh, communicated here. So these are some of the things that you, sh you should be aware of as a coach uh, uh, and at least be aware of where it is. So when it comes up uh, in with your mentee, with your new Muslim, then you can come back to it and, and look at it. Same thing with divorce and things like that that have come up. We have captured it here. Uh, so hijab question that sometimes comes up right? And you must simply say, well, is it must for me to wear a hijab or I'm struggling with it and so on and so forth. Uh, and then another question that has come up with is madhab. And as uh, this, as I'm saying, it's not something that everyone will ask you. Some people may. So this is something that you have it. So now these things, I haven't linked anything because they are, it requires more discussion. So we have a bigger document, which is, uh, which is uh, under this link, empowering Muslim. So if you click on that, you can get to this bigger document if you need to be. And it has a lot more details. So now, for example, if I do control F or command F, depending on what platform you're using, you can then, for example, type hijab, right? And it will take you to uh, some pointers there, some videos there, some notes, how you can communicate that concept. Uh, if you type alcohol, you know, it will take you there. You know, if you type about uh, madhab, it will take you there. Similarly, you know, a uh, difference of, you know, common things, a lot of stuff that's here that we have encountered over time. So we have compiled a way to deal with that. So if you choose to, you have something handy. If you want to do your own thing, discuss with the team, you know, come up with your own approach uh, that can be done as well. But I would highly recommend to either utilize something that we have shared with you or discuss it with your team uh, as well. So this is control F or command F for Mac folks. Okay, so this is your uh, ongoing toolkit once you have covered the training. So it gives you a template of, you know, a, an initial text message or WhatsApp message that you can send them to get them on a call. Again, you can customize it however you like. If the person is motivated enough, there are typos here, let's fix that. 
<laughs> you can give them this starter pack so they can have a look at it. This is something that we have seen earlier and they can download these apps. So by the time they come to meet you, they would probably already have the apps downloaded. So you can just walk them through it as opposed to asking them to uh, download it while they're with you, which you may need to, right? Depending on the person, but uh, just something that you can utilize. We, we kind of give you the four pillars highlight again here. And then we talk about, okay, for motivation, here are some of the techniques you can use. And obviously, if you find new stuff, we would update the manual as well. Uh, so this is about uh, the New Muslim uh, Basics New Muslim course. You know, you have the credentials for IRA course if you don't want to create uh, logins for yourself. So this is something to be used by the mentors if you are, um, you know, training, you're watching the videos and downloading the slides, and then you are teaching them yourself instead of them going and directly learning it, which some of the people may do and some may not do. Uh, this is again the section about prayers, right? Salah, wudu, and ghusl. So all of that is kind of linked from here. And then we talk about the third pillar, which is goals, and third and fourth pillar, which is goal setting and check ins. So we talk about the Habit Share app that you can download from App Store. And then this video shows you how, how they can add, you know, uh, accountability partners and so on and so forth. And then you have further resources, you know, for so once you have a uh, reached here, then just reach out to us if you are coming on board with our team, and then we'll send you the evaluation document. If you are managing a new team, you're creating a new team, and you would like me to share with you the evaluation document that I uh, use, you can send me an email or contact me and I can sh share that with you. And uh, if you like that, you can use that. Or if you want, you can just create your own evaluation. So this way, as a manager, or as a lead for a, or administrator of a team, it makes it easier. You know, many people would say I'm interested, but not everyone who says interested has uh, the consistency and commitment to follow through and complete the training and be dedicated. People get busy and so on and so forth. So this way, people can come in, they can go through the training. And once they've gone through the training, they have shown their dedication, they have shown consistency. You can give them the evaluation. If they do evaluation well, you can have a call with them and then, you know, onboard them. Uh, once you have done this, you should be ready to go. Uh, these are some extended training, you know, for further development around coaching, development, you know, uh, habits and so on and so forth. So you can go through it if you like. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. But these are some tools and uh, things that are available for you to go through it. So this is basically an overview of this document. I know it's big. It's not probably the prettiest thing that you have seen. You know, it's not very colorful, but it gets the job done. And inshallah, at some point, if you find a good editor, what now we can see if we can get it, you know, um, in a more colorful version. Perhaps we'll put these videos and slides. Uh, that was one of the suggestions given uh, into an online learning platform like Teachable or something. It's just like a matter of uh, finding time and resources to do it. But other than that, we'll get the job done. So before we wrap up this module, this component of module five, which walks you through this training document, let's see if there are any questions related to this document. If there are any other questions, we can talk about it at the end. But if there are any questions related to this document, let's take it now. <clears throat> My question is this, that uh, those who are completing the, uh, this, this training which you have conducted, uh, so they can get these, this document? Yes, yes. Everybody has access to this document. It's a public document, right? I'm going to put in the... So if you're watching a recording, you will see the link to the document in the video description. Uh, for those who are here, I'm just going to put this link here. Uh, in the chat, obviously, and then you even if you just type this link in the browser, you should be able to access it. So there you go uh, in the chat. Yes, anything else? Okay, all right. So I think this is it regarding the document. So let, let's walk into the module six now. In one moment. <clears throat> 